on to the semifinals. I'm joined now by player Johannes Vogtmann and coach Cordy Herbert from Team Germany. We start with the player's name. Timon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Johannes Timon, my bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Johannes, perfect game from you tonight. Um, especially important in the first half, in the beginning of the game, uh, taking your team to the semifinals of the FIBA Basketball World Cup. How does it feel? Well, it feels great. First of all, I, I don't think it was a perfect game, but um, I'm just happy that I was able to to get the push off the bench and uh, yeah, to help the team there and to, to, to get going. And yeah, really, really happy that today it worked out. Thank you. Coach, anything you would like to add? to this. First of all, is the microphone on? Yeah, first of all, um, give Latvia a lot of credit. Um, you know, it's like I said two months ago, they're the best team in Europe nobody talks about. And they're missing a couple guys too. Uh, they play great basketball, team basketball, they shoot it, well coached. Give them a lot of credit. Um, we won, wasn't pretty, um, a little bit of a stinker on the offensive end. I thought our bench for the third or fourth game in a row was outstanding. Thank you. Do we have any questions today for Team Germany? I see a lot of hands. We start up here in the front. Can we get a microphone, please? Hello, Johannes here, Jose Ramon Alba, TV. Congratulations for the win. You had, uh, last year you, you fell short to, to arrive to the finals and you lost against Spain at home. Now you are going to face another big opponent in semifinals, but you are here. It was told many, many times Germany didn't arrive to the big stage. Now you are here. How important is it for the team and for the country? Well, it's, uh, it's super important, especially for, for basketball in Germany, that we have a successful national team and uh, we're doing our best to, to, to provide that. And um, yeah, last year, unfortunately, we, we lost in the semis, but this year we, we want to make up for it. Thank you, I see one more question. Yes. I have another question for you, Hannes. Ivan from Dugout and Sportski. Uh, you were perfect tonight, and to make up for Danny Schroeder's struggles, do you think you can sustain that on Friday night against USA? <laughs> well, first of all, I, don't, I, I hope I don't have to. But um, yeah, I just try to, to you know, give the team a push from the bench and, and, and do, my, do my stuff. And um, yeah, luckily today it worked, but um, yeah, I hope uh, for next game um, it's not needed, but um, I will try for sure. Thank you. One more question from the gentleman in the white shirt, please. Donato Surumas, basketnews.com. Coach, I have a follow-up question about Dennis Schroeder. You know, having your leader on a, such a shooting night, how did you try to help him to get you know, him back on his uh, track and how you think he can bounce back uh, after this performance? Um, no, I have no doubt he'll bounce back. Um, adversity builds strength. Um, he had a, obviously had a really tough day. Um, layups, um, wide open shots. Um, you know, he, he's a super tough kid, very competitive. Um, you know, I have no doubt he'll bounce back. Thank you. Mm, one more question over here, please. Thanks, Coach. Um, Dennis called it probably the worst game he's ever made himself. Um, what does it speak about the quality of this team to come together and support their best guy on a night where he doesn't have it? Yeah, I, I think that's one of the strengths of this group is, is we're a team. And you know, like I said a, a few minutes ago, our bench the last three, four games has been outstanding. And um, we're able to play 12 guys if necessary. And um, you know, I thought Franz Wagner really picked us up and, and the second group coming in there at the end of the first quarter, beginning of the fourth. Um, you know, I can't say enough about, about our bench tonight. I think I've said that for the third or fourth game in a row. But. Thank you. I see one more question over here. No? Then maybe up here in the front first. Yeah. 
uh, Lukáš Brabovský, Polský Kaušpel. Coach, uh, what kind of things you need to improve before your uh, semifinal game against the United States? Oh boy, where do you want me to start? <laughs> offensively, we, offensively and defensively, I mean, I think we were, I think we were the, giving up the least amount of points coming into this game. Um, I mean, Bertons hit some really tough shots, I thought. But uh, offensively, we only had 10 assists. I would say that's, that's the biggest thing we have to improve on. Thank you. One more question in English before we possibly move on to German. Over here. Oh, here? Yes? Can we get a microphone? Hello. Oh, sorry. Uh, hi, Johannes. I'm Kobe from Slam Philippines. Um, when you guys are coming off of a big win like this, and you know on the horizon, you guys are going to go up against a, a tough team like the U.S. What's the vibe in the locker room, and what's like the mentality of you guys as as the players heading into uh, another big game? Well, we set we set ourselves high goals, and uh, it's going to be a challenge, but. Um with those goals in mind, we yeah, we have to beat um, teams like the U.S. and uh, hopefully we're able to do that. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Takashi Oki of Japan. Uh, Johannes, uh, uh, this is this semi advanced semi final uh, first time since 2002, uh, which Doug led the team. So, what does it mean for you and your country? Yeah, it's it's crazy to to be here to uh, to be in the semifinals of the World Cup. Um, I think it means a lot to to, to the German basketball world. Um, I think we were able last year to to have a good run in the Eurobasket, and now in the in the World Cup, I think that that means a lot for for for, the, for our country. Thank you. Do we have any questions in German today? I see two hands all the way back in the back. We start over here before we move on to the right side. Thank you. Uh, Johannes, kannst du uns vielleicht schon einmal einen kurzen Einblick uh, mit in die Kabine geben? Wie war die Stimmung gerade? War ein super enges Spiel. Coach sagte gerade, was not pretty. Um, aber ihr seid trotzdem im Halbfinale. So, wie wie geht es gerade der Mannschaft? Wie war es da gerade in der Kabine? Ja, so eine Mischung aus Euphorie und äh, Schock. Also das war so... Wir waren ja, hatten das Spiel ja schon, schon, schon fast in, in, der, in unserer Hand, ähm, aber haben es dann fast noch, fast noch hergegeben. Also es war wirklich ein, ein Schockmoment gerade am Ende. Ähm, also von daher war es eine Mischung aus Erleichterung, Euphorie und äh, ja, ein bisschen Schock. Yes. JT, was ist im ersten Viertel bei euch los? Das war jetzt schon mehrere Spiele das Problem. Was war, was ist da? Hast du eine Erklärung dafür, dass er so schwer reinkommt in Partien? Es ist schwierig zu sagen. Ich glaube, wir müssen einfach, einfach von Anfang an aggressiver sein ähm, und äh, ja, vielleicht einfach mit mehr Tempo spielen und äh, dann wird es schon. Thank you. Yep. One more question up here. Johannes, ihr hattet im äh, Anfang des vierten Viertel, du warst drauf, äh, Mo war drauf, Bonga war drauf, Franz und, und Maudo waren drauf. Und es schien, dass eine ganz andere Energie da war, defensiv und auch offensiv. Wie hast du das selber gesehen auf dem Feld? Warum hat das so gut funktioniert? Ähm, ich glaube, gerade die Gruppe ist, ist defensiv auch wirklich stark. Ähm, wir haben, haben ja versucht, wirklich hart zu spielen, die, die, Physis, die Physis von denen zu matchen, ähm, ja, mit Energie zu spielen. Und ich glaube, gerade in der Gruppe hat das, hat das gut funktioniert. Und ähm, ja, wir sind froh, dass wir, dass wir das geschafft haben und da in der Phase wirklich dem Team helfen konnten. Und äh, ich glaube, so, wenn, wir, wenn wir so weiterspielen, dann, dann ist viel drin. Do we have a final question for Team Germany before we let them go? No more questions. Then once again, my apologies for the name switch up, but good luck for the rest of the tournament.